you think about the impact. The assertion method has little impact on human beings. The story method has huge impact. You saw that with the word clouds, with your own responses to seeing those different styles. I'll show you other examples, by the way. <clears throat> so in terms of impact, story is a clear winner. But then we look at frequency. How often do we make the story choice? How often do we make the assertion choice? Well, we saw the response in the room here in response to the question. It's about 90% of our, of our communication in business uses the assertion method. Very rarely do we use the story method. So <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of reasons why this is, but essentially our, our primary driving assumption around, around, around communication, around human behavior, it is that humans are rational beings. And we are completely not. I, saw, I read a beautiful quote the other day. We are not rational beings, we are rationalizing beings. And the, more, and the smarter we are, the better we are at rationalizing our current view. Anyway, when it comes to communication, we have the opportunity to make different choices. Um, and at the moment, we are only using half our capabilities. So I'll just go back to this side. I'm not advocating that this is the only thing you do. So like, this is the language of technical expertise, managerialism, corporate speak. This is the language of, in, of human engagement. They're both, they're both important. And, and really effective communicators use both. <clears throat>